Hey. I heard what happened with Jalen. I'm sorry you had to... Hey, hey, it's okay. It's okay. Hey, and look at me. It's going to be okay. You wanna go sit down somewhere? We shouldn't be standing out in the open. Alright, follow me. And stay close to me. Hmm? Did he tell me anything? Well, other than you landing in detention, Jalen didn't say much. I just got the news like an hour ago, before our last class ended. So, I just waited out here. I didn't know how long the detention would last. I mean, I was going to wait by the doors, but that janitor kicked me out. He said he still needed to quote-unquote clean the corners. Yeah, he's quite grumpy. Anyways, we're here. So, are you still okay? Or do you need some time? Alright, and take your time telling me what happened. Yeah, we decided on not telling anyone about our relationship until we're ready. And yes, I know that everyone else figured it out already. So, let me get this sorted out. Madison and her group of friends found out and made fun of our relationship? And did they start making fun of you today, or has this happened before? Just started yesterday. Alright, so after a day of them making fun of you, what exactly happened that landed you in detention? You slapped her in the face? Hey, a Again, it's okay. Hey, hey, listen, listen. There's no need to be upset about what you did. Even though there were better options, you were in the right to do that. Not that I would recommend doing it again as an option, but if you have issues like this in the future, just come talk to me, okay? Alright then. Why did they do it? Well, first of all, why do you think they did it? You think they just wanted to make fun of you for that? Okay, I might know why they made fun of you for dating someone. What do I mean? Well, let me explain. So... Before you and I met a few months ago, I used to be friends with Madison. Sure, I was never romantically interested in her, but she used to always flirt with me sometimes. Now, I don't know if she did like me the same way that you do, but she could also be jealous. Well, think about it. Have you ever seen Madison dating someone? No, right? That's because she has never dated anyone. Now you also have to take into account the fact that she's friends with Joe. And as we both know, Joe liked you in a... a certain way. And he knows that you and I are dating, so he's jealous. No, Joe probably isn't jealous of how you're dating someone else. He's jealous that you're dating someone else. No, it's not the same way as what I just said. Joe's jealous because someone has something special in their relationship that he doesn't. 
he doesn't have you. Look, every relationship is different. Whether it's a dominant one, flirtatious, or even toxic. Hopefully that doesn't happen to us. Joe and the other people just don't have you as their girlfriend. Let me also tell you something. I know this person named Steven, and he was dating this girl named Val. His friends found out and they were jealous and constantly made fun of him. It got so out of hand that he was pressured to break up with Val. Well, you and I can tell them to stop making fun of our relationship, but if they're going to continue doing it, don't break up like what Steven did. Don't be pressured to listen to the mockery. Don't listen to them. Move on and walk forward and just ignore them. I know it can be challenging and you and I have been in those shoes before, but it's okay to feel this way. You have me to take care of you, to cuddle you in times like this, and to make sure that you're okay. I'll be here every step of the way. If you need to hold my hand, don't hesitate. I'm here for you, love. And it's all going to be okay. I love you too. Hey, the rain stopped. You're welcome, honey. Now, come on. Let's get back home. Yeah, sure. We can get some food on the way home. Any ideas? Sure. Rowan sounds good. 